Bar fights at Elon, a series of incidents this past year at local bars have some wondering if this is too much. In January, a Burlington man pulled a gun in the Sandy's parking lot. He didn't want to pay the $3 cover charge and pointed the gun at the bouncer when he was told to leave. A couple of weeks ago, a biker group started a fight at the Fat Frog right before closing. On September 11th, an Elon student assaulted a police officer at Sandy's, and the next day, a man was shot and killed at Club Kryptonite in Burlington. Sophie Nielsen Colding spoke with the community about the local bar scene and joined us live in the heart of Elon with more. Sophie? After the shooting at Club Kryptonite, a gun pulled at Sandy's and a biker gang causing trouble at the Fat Frog, being safe when you go out is not just about calling safe rides. I spoke with many different sides to try and figure out where these problems start. For many Elon students, a night out means a night at the bar. But after a number of violent crimes in the past year, bar safety is an issue for local police. Elon Chief of Police Lavelle Lavette said students are part of the problem. College students, they, they just lack life experience. And sometimes they make really stupid decisions. Sometimes they make decisions based on alcohol influence, which generally are stupid things to do. Even though there have been violent incidents in the past, Izzy Myers isn't afraid to go out. I do think that the Elon bars are safe. Um, the only one I go to is West End, and I've never felt in danger there. Sandy's, along with the other local Elon bars, are popular places to party, but they are off campus. This means that Elon students are mixing with Elon locals. I think that maybe those places feel more unsafe because locals go there. Peter Ustak, general manager and co-owner of the Fat Frog, said that his bars managed a smooth mix between the two. And our goal was to be able to create a place because we knew before this there was nowhere else in Elon that students and community could combine and coincide together in a safe environment. Um, I, th I think we've been very successful so far. Elon resident Grant Fox offers a local perspective. I've only seen one fight at Sandy's and I've seen no fights at Fat Frogs. So. Why do you think that is? I think it's two different crowds. Chief Levette said that there have been more violent crimes in Burlington than in Elon. She says Elon is safe, but there are occasional conflicts. Some of these have been caused by locals, but Elon students also need to be respectful of the community. Chief Levette recently drove past an off-campus party. And as we go through, you get this group of three guys over there yelling, the police. Now that is not the right thing to do if you're trying to be unobtrusive. You know you're 18 and you're not supposed to be drinking and you yell for us to come and get you. Problems stem from both sides and Fox has two pieces of advice to avoid conflict. I would just say don't drink too much and mind your manners. Chief Levette said if students are ever unsure about the bar they're going to, to call the local police station and ask about recent incidents. She also said that if the bar ever feels aggressive, students should just leave. Back to you guys.